first word, and word worth we come, and word worth come. Hallelujah. You are the Father. You speak the word. That is your son. You are the Spirit. You are the Father. You speak the word. That is your son. You are the Spirit. Bread of heaven, bread of heaven Fill me till I want no more I want no more Bread of heaven, bread of heaven Fill me till I want no more I want no more Everybody You are the Father Speak the word. You speak the word. That is your son. That is your son. You are the spirit. You are the spirit. You are the father. You are the father. You speak your word. You speak the word. That is your son. That is your son. You are the spirit. You are the spirit. Bread of heaven. My name is David Diamond. I want to become a teacher. I want to become a teacher because I want to impact lives educationally, shaping destinies, and also help people achieve their goals, like architects. Without me, there will be no buildings, bankers. Without me, there will be no one to keep our money for us, fashion designers. Without me, there will be no beautiful clothes. Scientists, without me, there will be no discoveries. Engineers, automobile engineers, without me, there will be no cars. Civil engineers, without me, there will be no roads. Aeronautic engineers, without me, there will be no planes. Lawyers, without me, there will be no one to judge issues in the law court. Pharmacists, without me, there will be no job. Farmers, without me, there will be no food. Doctors and nurses, Without me, there will be nobody to treat patients. Let's come to the spiritual aspect of this. Without me, there will be no pastors. See, that's why I want to become a teacher, because all professions stem from me. Thank you. to appreciate the Lord for preserving our lives to witness another children's day. Our theme for this year is the disciplined heroes and heroes of faith. To this effect, our children will be ministering to us. I pray that we will be blessed in the course of the service. Thank you.
We want to thank God for another Sunday service. We want to thank God for his faithfulness over our life, over our family. Glory be to the name of the Lord. This Sunday, the fourth Sunday in the month of May, is a special Sunday where we'll be celebrating our children all over the world. And Believers Heritage Baptist Church, we will be celebrating our children. By the special grace of God, we will be considering, and our children will be taking over service today. They will be preaching. They will be blessing us with prayer. They will be blessing us with songs of worship, songs of praise, as we have seen in the opening of the service. Please get set for the move of God as the Lord minister through our children. It's going to be a wonderful, wonderful service. God bless you. Please don't forget, this is Children's Day service. So allow them to bless your life. You are blessed in Jesus' name. Hey, where's this Jerry? Yo? Eh? Where's this Jerry? Where is he? Jerry! What? I've been looking for you. You are sleeping here. You don't go to the playground, Joe. No, I don't feel like going to the playground. But why? Because my parents don't have money to take care of my needs. Now your problem, shape that don't know born you. Let us go to the playground. See, them tell some but me. I don't care if they steal. I don't care if they do anything. It's not that they should take care of me. Let us go. No. God. God, I pray that you should give my parents money to take care of me in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, I've prayed. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. What is it? Every time. What? Why? Please, you can help me buy bread, please. See, me, I'm tired. I just came back from school. But are you not the one playing loudly here? Please, just go and help me buy bread, please. Then I was not tired, but now I'm tired. Mama, please give me the money. I'll help you and buy bread. Thank you. Then what you did to that elderly woman was bad. Why didn't you not help and buy the bread? Is she my mother? Why would I go for 
even though she's not somebody that you know, why didn't you know help her? That's a bad behavior. Good morning, pupils. Good morning. I welcome you today to the prize giving day. And we are all here to recognize the discipline hero and heroine for this year. For you to be a hero and heroine, you have to be disciplined. Here are some of the remarks I have about your behaviors. The first person, Jerry. <laughs> Jerry, I noticed that you have concern for people and you pray for yourself and others just like Nehemiah who prayed and had concern for his country Judah may God bless you, Thank you. the second person Ni Ni I noticed that you are playful unconcerned and envious of other pupils and these are not the good characteristics that we expect from our students. Please change. The third person, Tammy. Tammy, you are a lazy, disobedient, and disrespectful child. Instead of you to be hardworking, you make excuses for works that you, 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 don't, you don't want to do, all because you are lazy. And it is not right as a student of this school to be exhibiting such characteristics. So please, change. And the last person, Bola. Bola, you have proved yourself to be a disciplined heroine. You are helpful, hardworking, and obedient. And these are the good characteristics that we expect from our students. God bless you. Finally, the disciplined hero and heroine for this year are Bola and Jerry. Because they have exhibited the characteristics of a disciplined hero and heroine. And they are out being hardworking, being disciplined, being helpful, and others. Just like the people in the Bible Abraham, David, Joseph, Esther, Deborah, and so on. And this is also an encouragement to other pupils who are here and who are also watching us, that you should try your best to be a disciplined hero and heroine, just like others in the Bible, which I listed, Esther, Deborah, and so on. Because if you are disciplined, it attracts positive rewards. And if you are indisciplined, it attracts negative reward. God bless you. <laughs> I want to be a footballer in future so that I can travel all over the world and meet new people and I'll have a lot of money for the gospel and I'll be like a celebrity and I'll have many fans and I'll be like a role model to people. Thank you.
Good morning, viewers. Welcome to our Sunday service. Our topic for today is the disciplined heroes and heroines of faith. And our Bible text shall be taken from the book of Hebrews 12, verse 5. I read, And you have forgotten that word of encouragement that addresses you as sons. My son, do not make light of the Lord's discipline. And do not lose heart when he rebukes you. To be disciplined means to be self-controlled and well-mannered. And when we talk about a hero, a hero is a person of great bravery whom people will love to imitate. Let's talk about faith. Faith is an obligation of loyalty. Or faith is a trust or confidence in the intentions or abilities of a person. We can look in the life of Mary in the Bible, who kept her virginity till she was with the child of the Holy Ghost. We can be like her because some of us tend to listen to what people say. We would not do what is expected as what is expected of us as a child of God. We should keep ourselves we should be holy so that we will not go astray. So that when the kingdom of God comes, we will be count worthy to be part of it. And we can also look at the life of Abraham in the Bible, who sacrificed his only son, Isaac. He had faith in God that after he sacrificed the son, God will like bring his son back to life. Hebrews 11 verse 7 talks about the great hero of faith. Both Noah and Abraham are great heroes of faith. And both are choosing to lead the people of God at a starting point. And the part that makes Abraham a hero of faith is that after God called him, he, ob he obeyed. Obedience is something that we talk about in children. When children are obedient, God loves them, he will care for them, and he will like send an angel to be guiding them everywhere they are going. So children, I will implore you to always be obedient to your parents and elderly people. And obedience too is also a wonderful quality for a believer to have in their relationship with God. When we are believers and we are obedient, God loves us and he cares for us. People who are watching at home and especially the children that are listening to me, I implore you to be obedient, have faith and trust God in all you are doing. Be like the disciplined heroes and heroines of faith who obeyed God and also had faith in him. Thank you for listening. Let's close our eyes for prayer. In Jesus' name. Oh Lord, Father, we thank you for what we've heard today. We thank you for your word. Father, we pray that you bless us through your word. Father, we pray that you help us to be like the disciplined heroes and heroines in the Bible who had faith in you and obeyed you. In Jesus' name I've prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. To our young ones at home, you all have a God-given purpose. Never neglect your God-given purpose for the pleasure of this world. Those as our children pastor has mentioned, our theme for this year and topic is the disciplined heroes and heroines of faith. For you to be a disciplined heroes and heroines, you must know the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. That is to say, you must have the knowledge of the Lord Jesus. You must know him. You must have a good relationship with him. And how do you do that? Through the studying of the word of God. Meditating on it. Know him. Make him your friend. Come on with him every blessed day. That is when you will be able to imbibe in the discipline of the Lord. Because if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, there is no way you can be disciplined. In the book of 1 Samuel chapter 3, from verses 1 to 5, Samuel lived amidst the children of prophet Eli, who were wayward. They were so much an undisciplined child to the point that they were behaving in a way that was not pleasing unto God. 
and even unto their father. Samuel dared to be different for God. She lived a godly life. The Lord was with him to the point that he had the call of God. And he said, here I am. So, children, you can as well be disciplined. We have another person, and the person of Joseph. Joseph did not allow the few minute pleasure to deny him of the purpose of God for his life because he has the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ and he died in the wisdom of God. So for you, as an individual, to be a disciplined hero and heroines, you must have faith in the Lord. You must know Jesus Christ. You must obey his words. It's only the fools that will say there is no God. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5 says, Why you are in your mother's womb, he knew you because he had a purpose for your life. You must allow that purpose to be fulfilled. You must allow the purpose to be fulfilled. And so, children, if you are out there and those that are listening to me, you have not given your life to Jesus Christ. You need to do so at this moment. And how do you do that? You acknowledge that you are a sinner and you call him, trying him to forgive you all your sins and commit your ways onto his path. Through that, you can have a good relationship with him and at the end, you will also be celebrated. Just as Joseph, Samuel, and even Mary were all celebrated and they were great heroes and heroine of their own time. In this time, it's not in the aspect of spiritual, even in your academic ways. You must be disciplined. Don't follow after bad gangs. Don't move with wayward children. I pray God will help us to be a disciplined child. I want us at this moment, those that are listening to me, if you are ready to give your life to Jesus, just close your eyes and pray this simple prayer. Lord, I acknowledge that I'm a sinner. I ask that in your mercy, you will forgive me and assess me as one of your children. For those of us that are praying this prayer, I want to pray with you. Father, I commit them to your cable hand. I hand, O God of heaven, that in your mercy, in your mercy, Lord, you will visit them. You will forgive them all their sins and make them worthy, even in your kingdom, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for we pray to Jesus Christ, our Savior. My name is Kind Heritage. I want to be a doctor in future. The doctor is a physician who is trained and likes to treat the sick. Doctor maintain and restore old man's health. A medical doctor has the chance to work in different places, such as hospitals, school clinic, government houses. Doctors earn good salary because they put their life at risk to save others' lives. I want to be a doctor in future because I want to save life and earn good salary. Thank you. Today's service was great. We want to thank God for the life of our children. They have done very, very well. Glory be to the name of the Lord. That was a fantastic word. What a great impartation in today's service. I hope you enjoy God and you experience the hand of God. Don't forget, a disciplined hero and heroine. This is the plan of God for us, that we must live a life of discipline. Keep praying for our children, that they will do more export here on earth, and we all together make it to heaven. God bless you. It's time to pray for our children, and also to give our tithe and offering. It is time to give to God. The best time to sow is during famine. Because when you sow, you receive back in hundredfold in the order of Isaac. Bring out your tithe and offering as I pray. And I also 
pray for our children. Father, we thank you for this great gift you have given to us, our children. We are asking that you will bless them. You will impart them. At this time that they are celebrating, they will be celebrated in the name of Jesus. The hand of God will rest upon them. They will expand on every area of their life and they will stand out in their generation. Let this hand of God for greatness rest upon all our children in the mighty name of Jesus. They are untouchable, unkillable in the name of Jesus. You will grow to declare the words of God. I command you will be heroes of your generation in the name of Jesus. It shall be well with you in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I ask that you will receive us and our offering and tithe in the name of Jesus. You will command your heavens to be opened upon everyone here that is given unto you in the name of Jesus. You will not know lack. You will be blessed in the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask for miraculous provision for everyone trusting you for a miracle. Let provision flow in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Thank you for worshiping with us today. We want to appreciate you. We would like to see you on Wednesday. We would like you to join us on all our social platforms. Please join us as we continue the series of marriage. This has been a great time in God's presence as we learn how to make our marriage work, how to make our marriage become great, how to make our marriage heaven on earth. So please, I beseech you, join us again on Wednesday and enjoy the word of life. God bless you in the name of Jesus. We see on Wednesday, you are blessed. May the Lord bless and keep you cause his face to shine upon you, make provision abound for you on daily basis, now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.